Sustainability is an important part of who we are and is the foundation of our company. It has been for nearly 120 years. So we have a commitment to ensuring sustainable forestry, the biodiversity and wildlife habitat throughout the United States and everywhere we operate. And that's why the partnership with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation is so important to us. It's incredibly valuable to bring together people around conservation action. So one of the unique aspects of the Forest Land Stewards Program is that we're able to bring together resources from international paper, federal agencies, private foundations, and undertake the kinds of actions that are consistent with what we know is strategically important for these ecosystems. The Longleaf Pine ecosystem once covered tens of millions of acres across the southeast. Without the forests, we lose the basic function of these ecosystems on which lots of species depend. The longleaf pine ecosystem is important to a variety of species, uh, one of those being the red cockaded woodpecker. And it is a keystone species in that he provides habitat for other species. If the red cockaded woodpecker goes away, then the diversity in that ecosystem goes down. So it's important that these private lands are maintained and managed appropriately uh, to benefit the species and the ecosystem. Because the red cockaded woodpecker is federally listed as endangered, the stewardship program is providing money to help restore woodpeckers to some sites that have no woodpeckers by moving birds to the sites where we've already invested stewardship habitat money or to existing populations that are small and we want to make them larger to secure them. We are in Francis Marion National Forest. We're going to be banding up red cockaded woodpecker nestlings and putting individual color bands on them so we can identify them in the fall and move them to new properties. It's called a wireless peeper camera. See, like these two are kind of older here and I could get bands on them, but this one guy that's probably two days younger than them, so I'm gonna give it two days so I can hopefully get a, some bands on him as well. Every bird will have a different color so that in the fall we can identify individual birds. Once they get old enough, we'll sex them with the color bands, then we'll move them in male and female pairs. If there's red cockaded woodpecker cavities in a forest, there's homes for literally dozens of other animals to use those. As woodpeckers excavate new cavities, their old cavities may get enlarged by pileated woodpeckers. Raccoons use them, fox squirrels use them. A whole suite of other critters use those holes that red cockaded's make. So the real importance is the fact that it's an umbrella and a keystone species. Landowners, private, state, and federal, have to deal with that legal reality, and they do so by taking care of its habitat, which is primarily burning. The longleaf pine is just a tree. It's really the herbaceous layer on that ground that is so important to the diversity of that habitat and it is fire dependent. So you've got to maintain fire, otherwise you're gonna lose the ecosystem to other species of trees. Burning is what happened evolutionarily over 10,000 years. And so all the plants, all the animals are adapted to that fire. By reducing the amount of fuel out there through controlled burns, you reduce the frequency of a wildfire occurring. And additionally, you're creating a valuable wildlife habitat. You're taking off a layer of vegetation, putting nutrients back in the soil. And those are the, the areas where you're gonna find wildlife uh, the quickest are those areas that have been burned. Because we're taking care of the red cockaded, we're taking care of this whole suite of other species, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. And that's, of course, the best way to do it. International paper is foundational to this effort. We would not be able to put these practices on the ground to enjoy these conservation successes. We started the partnership with a million and a half per year contribution for five years. The important part of the partnership though is what NIFWIF brings to that. They've leveraged our seven and a half million dollars with matching funds for a total of nearly $30 million over the last five years. When corporations are involved, the money just keeps multiplying to the point where the landowner gets to do these great conservation programs at half what his cost would be if he did it by himself. So because of these kinds of partnerships, there's more and more landowners getting engaged in conservation. Our very nature is in the forest. The 
Sustainability of forest is the foundation of our company. And this has been one of the greatest days of my entire career, being able to see uh, what our partners through the Forest Land Stewardship are able to do for red cockaded woodpeckers here in the low country of South Carolina.